Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of dopamine, the brain chemical that's responsible for our feelings of pleasure, motivation, and reward. From the rush you feel after completing a task to the enjoyment of your favorite food, dopamine is behind it all. So get ready to learn everything there is to know about this fascinating molecule. What is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, which means it's a chemical messenger that sends signals between brain cells. It's produced in several parts of the brain, but mainly in an area called the substantia nigra. Dopamine is involved in different functions in the brain, such as movement, motivation, and memory. But most importantly, it's involved in pleasure and reward. When you experience something enjoyable, like eating your favorite food or achieving a goal, Dopamine is released in your brain, and you feel good. How does dopamine work? Dopamine works by attaching to special parts in your brain cells, called receptors. Once it's attached, it sends a message that makes you feel pleasure or motivation. The more dopamine that's released, the stronger the feeling of pleasure or reward. However, dopamine doesn't work alone. It interacts with other neurotransmitters, such as serotonin, to produce a balanced emotional state. Why is dopamine important? Dopamine is important because it helps you feel good and motivated. It's like a natural reward system that encourages you to repeat behaviors that lead to positive outcomes. For example, if you study hard and get a good grade, your brain releases dopamine and makes you feel good. This feeling of pleasure and motivation can encourage you to study again in the future. Dopamine is essential in controlling movement, and its deficiency can result in Parkinson's disease. Dopamine plays a role in learning and memory, allowing us to remember and repeat behaviors that lead to positive outcomes. What happens when there's too much or too little dopamine? When there's too little dopamine in your brain, you may feel sad, tired, or unmotivated. This can happen in conditions like depression or Parkinson's disease. In Parkinson's disease, the neurons that produce dopamine in the substantia nigra die off, leading to a shortage of dopamine. On the other hand, when there's too much dopamine, it can lead to overstimulation, addiction, or other behavioral disorders. For example, drugs like cocaine or amphetamines increase dopamine levels in the brain, leading to a rush of pleasure and increase motivation. However, long-term use of these drugs can damage the brain's dopamine system and lead to addiction. Can you increase dopamine levels? The answer is yes, you can. There are natural ways to increase dopamine levels in your brain. One way is to exercise, which has been shown to increase dopamine release and improve mood. Eating foods that are rich in tyrosine, an amino acid that helps make dopamine, can also help increase dopamine levels. Foods like chicken, turkey, fish, eggs, and almonds are good sources of tyrosine. Practicing mindfulness or meditation can help increase dopamine release by reducing stress and promoting a sense of well-being. Lastly, listening to music that you enjoy can also increase dopamine release and improve your mood. Let's take a closer look at some other interesting facts about dopamine. Number 1. Dopamine is released in response to new or unexpected stimuli, which is why we may feel a rush of pleasure when we experience something novel or exciting. Number 2. Some drugs, such as cocaine and amphetamines, increase dopamine levels in the brain, leading to a rush of pleasure and increased motivation. However, these substances can be highly addictive and can cause long-term damage to the brain's dopamine system. Number 3. Dopamine levels can also be influenced by social interactions. For example, receiving a compliment or feeling appreciated can lead to a release of dopamine, which can improve our mood and motivation. Number 4. Dopamine is not the only neurotransmitter involved in pleasure and reward. Other neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and endorphins, also play a role in these processes. Before we wrap up, Let's address some common misconceptions about dopamine. Number one, dopamine is not just a pleasure chemical. It also plays a crucial role in other brain functions, such as movement and memory. Number two, dopamine does not solely drive addiction. 
While dopamine is involved in the brain's reward system, addiction is a complex issue that involves multiple factors. Number three, boosting dopamine levels is not the only way to feel pleasure and reward. Other factors, such as social interactions and endorphins, also play a role in our experience of pleasure. So, what can we take away from all of this? Dopamine is a fascinating molecule that plays a crucial role in several brain functions, including motivation, movement, memory, and pleasure. By understanding how dopamine works and how to promote its release naturally, we can optimize our brain's reward system and enhance our overall well-being. However, we should also be mindful of the potential risks associated with substances that artificially boost dopamine levels. Thanks for tuning into our video on dopamine. If you found this information useful, please consider sharing it with your friends or leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.